Hello, Wissahickon Middle School and happy Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. I'm Nidia Han and I am a proud Asian American. My parents taught me a long time ago that being Asian American is a gift. One of the things that makes me special and enriches who I am and what I have to offer. But I know sometimes having an Asian face can be hard, especially when you're just one of a few in your neighborhood or school and especially these days. So I am here to remind you that we have so much to be proud of and to cherish. And this month especially, I am celebrating the diversity within our APA community. We are rebels, activists, and fighters, artists, athletes, and architects, scientists and musicians, web wizards and writers, Hollywood stars, and so much more. So forget any preconceived notions of who people think we are or want us to be. Being Asian American means thanks to our ancestors, we have the grit and the character and the confidence to be the person we choose to be. So hold your head up high, achieve your dreams, and know you have an entire community, including me, to support you. I believe in you. Sometimes you will fail, as I have many times. Sometimes you will succeed. No matter what, be unapologetically Asian. Hi, my name is Rob Bosher, and I'm the president of the Japanese American Citizens League Philadelphia chapter. Asian Pacific American Heritage Month is important to me because when my great grandparents immigrated from Japan in the 1920s, they weren't able to celebrate their culture in the ways we do today. In fact, they lost everything they owned when the government began incarcerating people of Japanese ancestry during World War II. This month, I think about how difficult it must have been for them to stay positive when the country they called home saw them as the enemy. But they didn't give up, and after the war, continued celebrating the unique cultural traditions of our Japanese ancestors. My great-grandfather opened the first judo dojo in the state of Utah, and my great-grandmother began teaching Ikebana, Japanese flower arranging. Both of them were deeply involved in their Japanese Buddhist community and found ways to teach others about the aspects of their culture that were most important to them. We should take this moment to remember how far our families have come so that we can live in this country. The things that make us different are our greatest strengths. We should celebrate our cultural heritage, not just during this month, but always. Thank you. Hello, Wissahickon Middle School. My name is Faria Khan. I'm the Associate Director for Asian American Studies at the University of Pennsylvania. I also served for four years on Governor Wolf's Advisory Commission for Asian Pacific American Affairs. I'm so happy to be able to share APA Heritage Month with you. It's an important month for me because, to be honest, when I was growing up, I never saw anyone that looked like me in school or in the textbooks. APA Heritage Month is a wonderful time for us to recognize and celebrate our shared histories. Hi, my name is Deborah Hong, and I am an Asian Pacific American of Korean descent. May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and for me, an important time for all of us, of all nationalities and ethnicities, to collectively celebrate our identities as Asian Pacific Americans and how we are key contributors to the great American story. One such great contributor is my father, whose story I'd like to share. Dr. Ki Chung Hong immigrated to the United States in the late 1950s to obtain his advanced education. He received his doctorate in chemical engineering from Iowa State University and joined Chevron Corporation in 1962. During his 34 years at Chevron, he authored nine patents and was the leading pioneer in clean and sustainable oil extraction technology. His book, Steam Flood Reservoir Management, Thermal Enhanced Oil Recovery, is widely used and referenced in the petroleum industry and in academic institutions worldwide. My father's story is one of so many just like him, who left their native countries to pursue life, liberty, and happiness in the United States, and in so doing, contributed so richly to the advancement of our society as Americans. Asian Pacific American Heritage Month is a time for us to reflect and to celebrate these stories so that we can share them with others and be proud of our lineage and contributions. 
Thank you for letting me share my story. Hi, I'm Councilman David O. I serve the City of Philadelphia in its entirety. I'm the first Asian American elected to political office in the history of our city and currently the only veteran serving on City Council. Asian Pacific American Heritage Month is very important. I hope you appreciate it. Let me tell you that when I was growing up, we didn't study the history of Asian Pacific Islanders in America. I learned about the history of Korea. I learned about the history of uh, China and Japan from my parents. I uh, learned about American history. I learned about black history, but I did not learn about the history of Asians in America. And therefore, as I grew up, I didn't know, I didn't, uh, I didn't understand what our contributions had been. I ultimately joined the military, served in the district attorney's office uh, because I did not know of the contributions. And much of the history of Asian Americans uh, was told to me by people who did not know that history either. Over time, I did learn of the contributions, the sacrifice, and the role that we as a people have played in, in the founding of this nation and its establishment, in protecting its freedoms and democracy around the world. We have a rich history, and it's important that we take back our history and that we honor those who came before us. Hello, Wissahickon Middle School. I'm Susan Jen Davis, Chief Sustainability Officer for Comcast NBC Universal. May is Asian Pacific American History Month. And during this month, we try to learn more about the deep and long history of Asians in America. We have been here as a people for generations since the Revolutionary War. And as a group, we represent people who have come from dozens of different countries across the globe. So we're a very diverse group of people and we come from a lot of different countries and have a lot of different cultures and a lot of different languages that are spoken in those countries. But what makes us the same is that we are American, as American as any other group of people that have come to this amazing country. When I was your age, I have so many fond memories of my family members coming from Korea and living in my house with me. And during that time, I would teach them a little bit about life in America. I would teach them a little bit of English. And then they, in turn, would teach me about my history and about where my heritage hails from in Korea. And I got to learn a little bit more about my roots. My parents have been here for 60 years and they have cherished their citizenship and they have enjoyed all the privileges and the benefits of being American citizens. They have never missed an opportunity to vote because they realize how important some of the rights we have as American citizens. Spend a little time during the month learning about Asian American history. It's probably not a history that you know a lot about. And there's this great TV series by PBS called Asian Americans, and it's a five-part series that you can watch to learn a little bit more about Asian American history. So enjoy the month, but remember, maybe every month is Asian American month because we too are Americans just like you, and we too have a place in the history of this amazing country. So enjoy the month, and I hope to see you soon.